All right, a few people have been asking me about uh, my decision to to switch from the Simrad Evo 3 series, which I've had a few units now, over to a Lowrance uh, HGS Live. So I want to talk about a little bit about that today and, and explain some of the rationale behind that and also um, show you guys the unit, uh, etc. So firstly, I've got it unplugged here, so I want to have a quick look at it with you guys so as you can see it is a very flat elegant unit now i don't have them side by side but um it is very uh it's very thin it's very compact here's your your gps built in um you've obviously got your NM nme8 2000 ports you've got a hdmi you've got a usb and you've got power and the ability to run uh two different transducers at the same time here so for example you could run um, the standard transducer that comes with the unit um, and you could also run an additional uh, one kilowatt unit or something like that so to cover basically plenty of different um, scenarios all right I'm just gonna plug it in we'll power it on we'll have a look under on the other now first what I might show you guys is the actual charts here. It does come uh, with some inbuilt charts, which I've got to say um, are a little bit overrated. Okay, so these charts will do the job for you, um, but I wouldn't say they're as detailed as even something like a Navionics um, Gold or whatever they are for like 350 in Australia. and. And I can tell that because if I go out on the on the edge of the continental shelf here and I zoom right in, okay, like those contour lines <clears throat> um, indicating the depth are really coarse, okay, and I've got it set to maximum detail. So like I said, like it will do the job, but I'm not overly impressed, okay, with these, uh, the level of detail for standard charts now most people will go and pay for <clears throat> some charts which you can install via the little uh slot in here but i guess my main point here is that these charts are marketed as you know at least for australia new zealand new zealand as being like high quality out of the box a way to go and i don't think they're really acceptable some units do have better charts out of the box. So for example, uh, the Garmin unit, units, I've had a few of those. I found their charts are uh, more impressive. But anyway, look, that's not the end of the world. That can be uh, remedied basically. So if we go have a look at the menu, so you've got your different things here. So chart, sonar, side scan, down scan, steering for autopilot uh, video so you can connect cameras to this basically anywhere on your boat um, and instruments obviously you can um, you know integrate your engine uh, with the system now you can go up and down there in the menu so i guess and obviously you've got your custom configurations on the right hand side here sorry um, that you can make different custom configurations so by editing it and adding additional ones so i guess um to summarize on the menu system uh it is very easy um you've got some nice solid buttons over here on the right hand side uh one single button pressed at a waypoint for example things like that and you've got four basically programmable uh buttons on the side here so that side of things is all good as you would basically expect now these units obviously offer things like side scan and down scan now i'm not um I'm not on the water at the moment so i can't give you a demonstration but you can check it out elsewhere uh quite literally they do give some amazing detail for them okay so in the settings menu you can determine obviously your boat settings um you can set up wi-fi connections um, you can set up your sounds and all that sort of stuff. Um, what have I gone on to there? Some sort of satellite thing. Uh, manage features and apps. 
so services so here you can yeah go away so you can sign into your cmap charts um navigation obviously you can set some alarms and things like that you can set some different uh options for your actual charts like having grid lines having waypoints shown having trails as you follow the boat uh here's where you set up your sounder so you've got your channel one channel two um for your different uh transducers they're very easy to set up uh autopilot don't currently have autopilot cameras so you can add obviously cameras to the unit um Fuel, so you can, if you've got your um, your unit connected to your engine, you can basically set up your fuel, all your different units, you can set there, you know, knots, wind speed, temperatures, as you see fit, uh, wireless, so Bluetooth, built-in Wi-Fi, uh, built-in hotspot. Apart from that, like I said, you can actually add a um like a, a one kilowatt transducer a chirp transducer now the reason why and you guys i've spoken about this uh, at length a few times the reason why i have bought this unit and the reason why i buy simrad evo 3 units is because of the dual chirp capability okay so the this unit has the ability to run and very few units do okay there's not many yet even in 2022 23 um not many have the ability to run a dual chirp one kilowatt uh transducer so something like a um tm 265 lm uh so low medium great transducer for uh working at depth and also with the low frequency um, and also the medium frequency um, if you're trolling and things like that. And then you've got, like I had on my last boat, the TM275 uh, LHW low, high, wide. That was a great trans transducer as well. Now, what I would say firstly about those transducers, because I get a lot of questions about them, is that the low frequency is really, really only works well if you're going extremely slow, basically like drifting, that deep water sounding. Um, if you're even at trolling speed, okay, the, I mean, it does an okay job, but I don't think you don't basically get a lot of detail, but at trolling speed, the medium frequency and the high wide frequency works exceptionally well. Okay. It works really, really well, even beyond trolling speed, even cruising speed up to a decent speed. You, you won't basically lose hardly any detail, uh, or the bottom. And I also think people um people expect that these things going to read a lot deeper than they do okay every single one of these units has underwhelmed me when it comes to its actual rating of how deep it can read so their their manufacturer's website so just because it can read down to thousand meters or whatever it claims there's bugger all detail and it's barely usable okay so you have to ignore the manufacturer's claims are uh, a little bit sometimes, okay? Like they, they overestimate basically. Um, so look, I always recommend if, if you're serious about offshore fishing, you do need at least a one kilowatt transducer, okay? Whether it's the two that I mentioned, whether it's a, um, an in-hull 185M uh, or something like that, that's also a great game fishing transducer, but you do need a one kilowatt transducer. Okay, now these units, they like the Evo 3 and the um, and this H HDS Live, okay, they really are, they're not commercial level units, as in they're high quality, they work brilliantly well, um, they're great for a, a serious recreational fisher. Commercial level fishing really should be done with standalone units and above one kilowatt of power. So two, three kilowatt transducers on a standalone Furuno sounder or something like that. So when it comes to standalone gear like that, I definitely rate Furuno uh, at the top of the pack. That's just a personal uh, preference. But yeah, d don't expect too much out of a one kilowatt unit, put it that way. Now, the main reason, going back to the crux of the video, that I've picked this sounder uh, over going for another 
basically HDS, uh, sorry, over, over another Simrad uh, Evo 3 is, even though the the, vid, uh, the features are very, very similar, okay, like the specs, etc., it's all very similar. They do basically virtually the same things. All this has the the, the new live mode, which I can't demonstrate at the moment, which is which is great, but that's not what sold me on it. Okay, the um, the difference is is that this is basically a newer unit, okay, and what it has is it's got a faster processor. So I'm just trying to show you at the moment. Like I'm going through these menus, and it's just it's basically instant. Okay, this thing is like using uh, a computer, right? It's just very very quick. Um, look at that. You've got your your tides and everything on here, which is very cool for my location. Um, it's just, it's a really nice unit. It's really fast. It genuinely does have a faster processor, okay, than the Simrad Evo 3. So, very fast through all of those menus. You're not going to get frustrated with this unit at all. Um, you've got a really nice, uh, bright screen in all conditions. Um, you've got that live feature. But, you know, it, it is a very, very nice unit. And like I said, the chart, see, if you look around here, these charts in the bay here, um, that's an acceptable level of detail. That's fine. So, in the bays and the estuaries, the chart detail seems to be good enough. It's not great. Um, I, like, I personally know these areas very well, and I know there's a lot more contour than what's being shown on the screen at the moment. But offshore, it's missing a lot of detail. So look, anyway, basically what you've got here is a fantastic unit. These are very well priced at the moment, okay? Um, I, th I think it beca it's because they must be about to release a new unit, okay, a new range, but I've got to say, you do not need anything uh, beyond this. This is a really, really nice unit, and I think it just... It just outdoes the Simrad Evo 3 just for that increased processor speed. Whether you use the live functionality or not, that's entirely up to you. And like I said, transducer-wise, you can run the total scan and you can also run uh, a dual ch chirp transducer or even just a single frequency chirp transducer, like something like a 185R wide. But anyway, look, not going into major detail there, but that's basically why I chose these unit uh, this unit over the Simrad, these are on sale at the moment. They're a very good price. The 16 inch is a beautiful unit. I uh, highly recommend it. So um, if you're interested and you're a serious recreational fisher, this unit will absolutely do everything you need it to do, whether it's inshore, offshore, estuary, etc. So yeah, consider going and getting one.